I'm, I'm really sorry guys, this tutorial has absolutely nothing to do with cereal, as in the eating kind. So what is serial printing? Serial printing is basically being able to send information from your Arduino to your computer. Being able to communicate between the computer and the Arduino is a really useful thing to have and there's loads of ways of being able to apply that. Today we're just going to register a button, press on the Arduino and use a serial print to tell the computer that the button has been pressed then a message is going to be printed on the screen of our computer notifying us of that. For those of you who are particularly interested the type of communication protocol that's being used is something called RS-232. You don't actually have to know anything about RS-232 to be able to get serial prints to work so I'm not going to explain that in this tutorial. So the aim is when we press the button the Arduino registers it, it then sends the signal down this line into our computer and then we print on this screen here. So if I grab the button here as I press it there we go the button has been pressed and again so our aim is to code our button on our Arduino up so that when you press it it prints a message to our computer now first things first where is this message going to print to so the answer to that is if you come up here to tools and then you click on serial monitor what pops up here will be the port that the Arduino is printing to so when we when we print our messages this is where it will show up so now we know that let's start coding up our button and our serial print so I'm going to start by defining the button so I'm going to say int button equals and then I've got my button wired up to pin 6 and then in pin, in void setup I'm going to say pin mode button and then set that as an input right now we come to our first serial command so we have to set up the serial print in our void setup so we say serial with a capital S dot begin and then we have brackets and a semicolon and inside these brackets here we write a number I'm going to write 9600 now the number we write here is what's known as a board rate spelled B-A-U-D like that and what it means is the number of bits of data sent every second so we've set the board rate to 9600 which is the standard board rate for the Arduino serial port um, which means that we're sending 9600 bits of information every second so if we look at our serial monitor, when we open our serial monitor up, you see down here that you can set the board rate to a number of different levels. You have to make sure that the board rate in your serial monitor is set to the same as what you've coded it up as in your Arduino code. If they're different, so you can see here it says waiting for button press. If I change the board rate of our serial monitor to, what's, to, to a different value than our void setup, you'll see it comes out with complete rubbish. And that's because the board, rate, the board rate is different between our Arduino and our computer setup. So if I change that back to 9600, we get what we're expecting. So that is the board rate. Now we've set up the serial port with a board rate of 9600. We're going to create a print that prints only once during the void setup loop because as we know, the void setup loop only runs once when we first turn our Arduino on. So we can use it, for example, I've used it here to say waiting for button press. So it, it just prints telling you that the that the serial transmission is set up and working and it tells you what it's waiting for. So we're going to set that up now. I'm going to say serial with a capital S dot print and then I'm going to say LN and what that stands for is new line. So if you don't have that, it will print everything on the same line which we don't want. So we're going to say LN and then we're going to open and close our brackets and semicolon. Now inside the brackets we're going to open and close our quotation marks and then anything we write inside our quotation marks will be printed in English as it's written on our serial monitor. So I'm going to write hello world. Okay. Now if we come down to our void loop what we want is when we press the button we want it to print 
the button has been pressed. So we're going to use an if statement to test if the button's been pressed. So we say if the digital read of the button is equal to high, i.e. if the button's been pressed, then we're going to open and close our square brackets. And then we're going to say serial.print again. We're going to say ln, because otherwise it would all print on the same line. We're going to open our brackets, open our quotation marks, say now we're going to type what we want to print. So we're going to say the button has been pressed. Exclamation mark. Then we're going to close our quotation marks, close our brackets, and then semicolon turn the line of code. So now if we upload that, and we're going to go to tools, serial monitor, and down here we're going to make sure that the board rate is at the same rate that we've set it as in the code, so 9600, which it is. And we see the first thing it prints is hello world, which is what we've said here in the void setup. And that only prints once because the void setup only run, runs once when we first set the code up. So, or when we first turn the Arduino on. So now if I press the button, it should print, the button has been pressed. So there we go. It's printing. When I press the button, it's saying the button has been pressed. And if we wanted to only print that once, we would add a little delay here which stops it printing loads of times so now if we take another look at it serial monitor hello world make it every time I press the button now it prints once if I hold the button down it will keep printing every 400 milliseconds I'm just going to show you what happens if we don't have this LN in here basically it won't start a new line so it's just going to print everything on the same line so if we upload that without the dot ln, we're going to go to the serial monitor, it says hello world, as it should, and then it's just going to keep printing everything on the same line of, of the uh, serial monitor, which isn't ideal really. So that's why we use ln here, because it starts a new line. So what I've shown you so far is how to use quotation marks to print specific messages to the computer from the Arduino. We can also print values of either sensors or things like buttons. So what I'm going to do now is code it up so our serial monitor is continuously printing the value of the button. So it will print a 0 if the button hasn't been pressed and a 1 if the button has been pressed. So this is useful for checking the values of sensors um, whilst our code is running. So I'll do it for the button here. So we're going to get rid of that first off. And up the top we're going to create a new integer or this means integer means a whole number so a new whole number called um, button value and um, we're not going to assign it a number like we have up here all we're doing is saying that button value is an integer or a number if you didn't set this up the top your when you try to compile your code or when you try to upload your code it would say button value was not declared in the scope and it just means that the Arduino software doesn't know if it's a number or a character or so by saying in we set it up as a number so the software knows what we're talking about. So coming down here in the void loop we are going to say um, button value is equal to the digital read of the button. So what this means is the button value is going to be either 1 or 0 depending on the digital read of the button. So if we run this code and we say button value equals to the digital read of button and we're not pressing the button then button value is going to be equal to 0. If we are pressing the button then button value is going to be equal to 1. Um, so that's simple binary. If, um, if this value is high then it's going to be 1. If this value is low it's going to be 0. So then we're going to say serial.print ln because we want to print on a new line and then we open the brackets and normally we'd have these quotation marks but in this instance we're just going to write button value like that and then we're going to add a delay because otherwise it would print really fast so we're going to add a half a second delay because remember this is in milliseconds so we're going to upload that to our Arduino board and now we're going to open the serial monitor so we can see it's printing zeros because I'm not pressing the button. So now if I press the button, it's going to start printing ones. If I let go, it's going to start printing zeros. And that's because it's printing button value. So if we press it again, it's going to go one, 
If I let go, it's going to go zero again. And there you go. So that's how to use the serial port to print the value of a sensor, which in this case is just a simple button. But you could also use it to print the values of an analog read, which is a bit more complicated. Um, and I'm going to go over that in the next tutorial. And that's it, guys. That is serial printing.